Okay, so you might have noticed that even though you turned shadows on in the previous step, you can't see any shadows in your scene. Now that's something for two reasons. The first reason being that we've not turned shadow previewing on, which is this button here. But the second reason, the more important reason that kind of overrides it, is that Maya doesn't preview uh, shadows on point lights for some reason. I'm sure there's a really good explanation, but all I know is that it just doesn't do it. So the only way to see what the shadows look like is to do a test render of your scene. So what I want to do is just make sure that I can see um, my scene quite clearly. And what I want to do is just frame up so I can kind of see behind the crates. Because that's where the shadows are going to be cast. And this is very important. <clears throat> At the moment, I know that there's a wall in the foreground being hidden. And I need to make sure that I am inside the boundaries of the wall. Because if I do a test render on the outside of the wall, I won't be able to see anything. Because although we can see through the walls in the, the preview, it doesn't work like that when you render and it will put them back. So you need to make sure you're within the room. If everything renders completely black, it just means that you need to move your camera a little bit closer in, that's all. Okay, so to perform a test render, you need to click on this clapperboard here, which is the second one along, which will render the current frame. Before you set up the test render, what you need to do, so that you know exactly um, what's going to be in frame and what's not, because this rectangle here can change shape very easily. I could do that, uh, and you see it's not always going to render everything you can see in shot. So to make sure that you know exactly what's going to render, you need to click on View, um, Camera Settings, and then you've got these gate options. And resolution gate will put a rectangle on your screen. Anything you put within this rectangle is exactly what's going to render when we click on the render button. So in order to perform a test render, what you need to do is just click on this clapperboard here. And there you can see the light's hitting the crates and behind that we have some rather beautiful looking shadows, which is exactly what we're looking for. So, so far things are going beautifully. One other thing to remember is that gamma correction is also on in your preview render. So if you're not, uh, if you want to see an accurate representation like a raw version of the image because the gamma correction is a post effect, it's a post processing effect, it's not actually what the image looks like. If you were to open it in Photoshop it would be much darker for instance. So you can turn that off and this is what it really looks like. And again it probably does look very dark but we are going to be adding a lot more, well we're going to be adding some more lights to this scene. And we need it to be dark so that those lights really show up. It's going to be using glow effects and things like that. So that's how the image should look. That looks beautiful. And I'm also just going to turn off the um, resolution gate for the time being. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another light in. This is where it really starts to get sexy. I'm going to put a spotlight in the projector. And we're going to be able to see that light kind of hitting the particles in the air. Or we're going to give that effect. And that's going to look very, very cool.